welcome back to my channel. Today's video, you see all this stuff piled up in front of me. Today's video is all about my styling stuff that I take with me to every wedding day. And it is like, it is super extra to the extreme, but I am pretty damn extra. And if you know me even just a little bit, you know that wedding details are my jam. So I do the absolute most um, on every wedding day to get them amazing. So without further ado, we're going to dive right into everything that I bring with me to every single wedding day for detail styling. Here we go. So we're going to start here. These are my styling masks that I've collected over the years. I, I don't bring all of them to every single wedding. I will usually just figure out the color theme of the wedding and then pick which one goes with the theme the most. And sometimes I don't even bring a styling mat to the wedding in general. I actually use the bridesmaids dresses as a styling board for like 90% of my weddings. Um, it just is convenient, it's right there, it's easy, and you don't have to drag these around with you everywhere you go. But the only downside to using a bridesmaids dress is that you do have to do that pseudo wrinkling of the dress so that it looks purposeful whereas with a styling mat you can use it flat and it's very seamless and streamlined and minimal so it just depends on which style you're going for for that wedding day so first we're going to start off with these this is the kiss brand you're probably familiar with the kiss brand for albums but they do make styling mats and i have three I want to say this runs around $100 to $150 for the three of them. I think you can buy them individually, but I went ahead and just bought the, the set of three. It does come with white poles that go in to the corners so that it lays really, really flat. The only thing that I don't like about these is their size. So I love the color scheme, but their size is really small. And as you can tell, they're only about maybe three feet long, maybe a little less than three feet long. And if you have a really big invitation suite or bigger shoes or just bigger details in general, you can't fit a whole lot on these. And that's just the one thing that, that kind of sucks about them. But they do come in really nice neutral linen shades. And again, there are sticks that you stick in the side that make them lay really flat. So I have it in the gray, the white, and this neutral brown color. This is the color I use the most out of all of them. All right, so I got this underbed storage bin thing from Amazon. It has been probably the most useful way of storing these that I have found. Um, I just leave this in the back of my car in my trunk and then I just choose whichever styling mat I want from it at every wedding. So next one we have is this big guy. This is the styling mat. That's the brand. It's called the styling mat. This is the um, dual sided round one. They do make bigger oblong shaped ones which are really really nice but they're huge. This one is super cool because it's a nice linen neutral color on one side and then the other side is a velvet gray so you get a little bit of texture with this side as opposed to this side is very plain. I will say I thought that this was going to be a lot lighter than it actually is and I'm a little disappointed that I have two gray sides um, but this also does resonate as a lighter white color depending on your color schemes so it does work um, it doesn't really show as gray in the camera I also like that it collapses and folds up really nicely it collapses like a reflector so it's really easy to carry around in store it did come with a pouch but I lost the pouch and I just leave it as is they are machine washable as well which is also a really cool feature to them I've thrown them right in the washing machine and like all the stains come off really easily Next we have probably my favorite styling mats and I have three of them. I don't know why, I just tend to work better in threes, so I tend to buy things in threes. It's not necessary. Um, these are from Lindell Studios and they are hand painted 
organically painted canvases that are all one of a kind and she signs the back which is really really cute. I absolutely love the size of these. I can fit an entire bouquet on this and shoot the whole bouquet. So this is one of my favorites but I just love the organic feel of these. So I have it in blue. I have it in blush. This is the one that probably gets used the most for my blush brides. And I have it in gray. This is a very nice neutral color and I love the heavy brush strokes. It gives a lot of really sweet texture. And they all come in these reusable shipping containers. So, And then lastly, these are just some hodgepodge boards that I have collected over the years. I have a lot of uncut mat boards. These are the mats that go inside of picture frames, but at some craft stores you can get them uncut. So they make a really good styling board. The size is pretty good. There are some that you can get that are even bigger, which I haven't really been able to get my hands on in the color schemes that I want. You kind of just get to pick and choose. Some places you can order them and they'll come in the colors that you want, but they do tend to get really expensive. These I found at AC Moore, which AC Moore is going out of business. I want to say these were only like $5, which is why I bought so many of them, because you can't find them for $5. I have bought the ones that you order specifically to the color schemes that you want, and $45 is around the cheapest that you can get it. And I ruined them. so. Yeah, I had to throw it away because I literally got crap all over it. So I have these. I also use just styrofoam board that you can get from Walmart. This still has the $6 price tag on it, but I covered it in contact paper and you can get contact paper in marble. The only thing I don't like about this contact paper is it is shiny, so you get a pretty bad glare if you're in a sunny area. That's the only downside to the contact paper. I wish it was like a matte color. But it does work well. I just don't have a whole lot of people who use marble in their weddings, so I don't use that very often. But here are just some of the uncut matte boards that I have. I have this cream color. I have this gray color. I have a pink color, which I did get stuck on it, so that kind of sucks. And then I have this gorgeous dark teal, and navy, and black. Which I don't use the navy and black very often, but I bought them just because I had never shot on navy or black. It is a little bit darker than I would usually go. But on the off chance that I have a really cool invitation suite that would look good on black, I have it if I need it. And then these are just some plain white poster board, and I use these as reflectors. All right. Next thing we're going to go over is everything that's in this Scout bag. So this bag is really, really big, but it is the only bag that I have found that can hold the weight of the items inside. The Scout bags are really, really durable and really well made and it's thick so I don't see it coming apart in the future. It's also washable and durable and all that fun stuff. So inside is more than just my styling stuff. I will also throw snacks and water bottles and anything else that I need to carry with me. It's all in one place, which is also why I like this big bag. I'd rather carry one giant bag in than four smaller bags that are filled with a bunch of stuff and it just keeps everything in one place. So inside we have a really, really dirty reflector and then we have a tall step stool. I found this at um, Tuesday morning, but any of like those TJ Maxx home goods will have them and they're pretty cheap. I want to say this was like 12 bucks. I don't recommend going to Bed Bath & Beyond or any of those department stores. Uh, they tend to be on the expensive side, which is just ridiculous. Um, so go to like home goods or TJ Maxx and they'll have these. I use this when I want to be above my details and say I have to work on a table or I just want to be taller 
on off the floor. I'll use this, but I also use this when I want to be taller than my couples as well. It helps when you have a, an exceptionally tall couple. All right, and then we have this gardening kneeling pad. I got this from the Target dollar section. I did not think that this was necessary, but I use this all the time. I can't tell you how many times I'm kneeling in concrete or sidewalk or gravel or anything like that and my knees get so messed up. So just having this like $3 piece of foam has really, really saved my knees. And then I always, always, always carry plain white coat hangers. These are from Ikea. I think you get six in a pack or eight in a pack for like five bucks. So they're really cheap. And if I lose them or the bridesmaids steal them, it's not a big deal. I fortunately have an Ikea right down the road, so I can get one really whenever I need it, except for right now, obviously. I don't trust bridesmaids or the bride to ever really think about her coat hangers, because why would she, unless you're extra like me? So I think it's more efficient to have the coat hangers on hand to switch out any of those dingy, mismatched dry cleaning hangers. Just having them on hand yourself, you know you're gonna get a good dress shot. I have an assortment of trays that I've gotten off Amazon. One and this one and this one have all come off of Amazon. They were I think like 10 or 11 bucks a piece, but I love the texture and the gold slash white slash silver variation that you get. And I use these really frequently for shoe shots and different invitation suites. They're a little bit big for invitations though. And then I found this one at Goodwill. It's getting to be a little more tarnished, so I have to go over it with the silver cleaner. But I search Goodwills and Salvation Armies and thrift stores all the time for silver and gold trays. And that's where you're gonna find them the cheapest. Unless you go to a private thrift store, then they will charge an arm and a leg for them. So I always recommend going to Salvation Army. That one's going to be your cheapest option. And then, believe it or not, I actually bring my own veil. Um, this is really, really extra. You don't have to do this, but I like using veils in my detail shots because it makes it like wispy and dreamy. And there's not always a veil to use, so you have the tool readily available if you want to use it. It's not necessary, but it is something that I do bring along because it's, it's malleable. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room. And then I always, this is so gross, um, but I always bring a lint roller because one, the styling mats get lint on them, so it's nice to easily roll them out but I also have one on me that's like a mini version and I use that to lint roll the groom's uh, tux or suit or whatever. I can't tell you how frustrating it is to go back in post processing and have to clone out all of the lint that is on a black jacket. So I've decided from now on I'm carrying around the little mini lint rollers to save my life. <laughs> And then lastly is all the nitty gritty styling stuff and this is what gets used 90% of the time while I am doing my styling details. A lot of this stuff is just crazy extra stuff that's not necessary but this little styling kit is something that I have worked on for years. So I have had countless ways of storing all of my styling stuff. This has been the best option that I've found. Now this is a caboodle from Target or Amazon and it opens up like this. There's a mirror in here and then it just keeps everything organized and clean. All right, so the first thing that I have up top is these. This is like my biggest secret and I'm going to share it with you because I love you. This. These are makeup sponges. So I got these, you can get these from any drugstore. They're just the flat round makeup sponges. And I use these as invitation risers. And it gives your invitations layers and depth and everything and you just stack them and then set the invitations on top. The only thing that sucks is they are very, very light. So they will blow over or fall over if it's windy or um, uneven. That's the only thing that sucks. 
but they're really cheap and I lose them all the time. So it's not a big deal for um, the price point. And then I have in here my command hook and like a ton of stickies for the command hook. These are a really useful tool for hanging up your wedding dresses when there's nowhere to hang your wedding dresses. You do have to be careful though because these are not always as forgiving as they make it seem like they are. I have peeled paint off the wall with these before and that is no bueno. So just be very, very careful when you use them. Up top I also have these which are acrylic risers. This is the bougie version of my makeup sponges. You get like five for eight or nine dollars and they do the exact same thing. They're just heavier. I, I don't really see the point of using these over these. I just bought these first before I discovered the makeup sponges. And then I also have an assortment of different ring boxes. I have all different colors. I have red and green and white and blue and a really dark burgundy, gray, purple. I tried to get one color and one style of each typical wedding color just so I have them on hand and then obviously a bunch of neutrals that will go with any theme if needed. I will say my favorite are these. This brand is the best. These come from a company off of Etsy called Vitamin Love. You do get what you pay for from what I found. Now I don't have any Mrs. Boxes, but I do plan on getting some in the future. I just haven't had the budget for a Mrs. Box because they are like $75 a piece as opposed to $20 a piece. But I do like being able to tag the big brand Mrs. Box in the images. So you just kind of have to figure out what means the most to you. Um, but again, the best brand that I've found is called Vitamin Love off of Etsy. They are very well made and they're bigger. So you can tell from size wise, this is called the Family Jewels. This is from Vitamin Love and you can just tell the size is a little bit more substantial. So it makes a little bit bigger of an impact in the images themselves. That's just personal preference though. This is more the size of what a Mrs. Box looks like. And next up, we are starting underneath now. I have an assortment of ribbons. I have both silk ribbons and velvet silk ribbons. I prefer the velvet ribbons over just the plain silk because of the texture that the velvet gives off. The silk tends to just look flat, but the silk is a little bit more minimal and classic and clean so it just kind of depends on what style you like the best and then we have a couple more trays that i've gotten from various thrift stores uh, these are the perfect size for invitation suites i like the diversity that it gives the invitation suites so you can layer them you can stack them you can use gold or silver so i just like having that variety and i like their size they're smaller and then another thing that adds a little extra to your pictures are um, scissors, fun little scissors like this. I just like having a couple different variations. These are like your plain gardening scissors. These are a little bit more classy. Um, so those are just some fun additions. And then I have an assortment of vintage stamps in all different colors. You can get these easily off of Amazon or Etsy and they're not very expensive and I don't use them at every wedding just when I feel like it fits because not every wedding is a vintage wedding which calls for vintage stamps. And then I have this little guy which I don't use very often but he's here if I need him. He is a mini reflector. So for ring shots, this works really well because you can kind of just prop it under your camera and it'll give off that nice white reflection. And it's just a really small version. He's super cute. He was cheap. And the last couple of things that I have, these are really, really specific items that I don't use unless I'm doing like a styled shoot or playing around with details or just trying to make really high-end images. But I have some big calligraphed pieces of paper that just have always come in handy for styled shoots to use as place cards. I have a real feather quill. I don't think I've ever used that. I have some calligraphy pens, little wax seals, and an actual wax stamp. 
And then um, these are postcards that I got while I was in Paris. And I've used them quite a few times just to make some fun vintage Parisian flatlays. Then the last thing that I have is these. And then I also have in my emergency kit in my camera bag, I have um, a ring cleaner. And then these are just jewelry wipes, just in case I need them. All I have for you today, guys, that was a lot. <laughs> I'm a lot. I'm very extra. But thank you so much for sticking through this whole video and watching it all the way through. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel to be up to date for any videos that drop. I plan to drop new videos every Thursday. So thanks again and bye, guys!